In this video, I am going to be installing Arch Linux in a desktop computer. So this is the Arch Linux website. This is the latest news section. So I'm going to click on download. So I'm going to download from this mirror. This is the latest version and it's always been updated. I'm going to download this ISO file, the x86-64. The size of this ISO file is 932 megabytes, so I have to create a bootable USB drive. I'm going to be using Rufus to create that bootable USB drive with Arch Linux. So this is the Rufus CXE file, I'll download that. So I have the ISO file on my desktop, I have the Rufus CXE file on my desktop. So I'll open Rufus, I'm gonna click select, and select the ISO file. Click on start, click OK. So it's complete. So I'm gonna take the USB drive and I'm gonna boot up the desktop computer with the USB drive. So in the boot menu here, I'm gonna select the USB drive. I'll select the first option. So this computer is connected to the internet by a Ethernet cable. So I get the command prompt to install Arch Linux. I just have to type Arch install. So okay, this is the configuration settings. So the first option is to choose your language. I will choose English, but if you need to change it, just hit enter and you can select whatever language you would like. So here is the mirrors option, and to choose your mirrors location, just hit enter. And here's a list of all the locations. So I'm going to select the US. I'm going to hit the tab key on the keyboard to select. Hit enter. I'll go back here. So this is to change the keyboard layout. I'll hit enter. If you need to change it, just hit enter, and you can choose your keyboard layout here. I'm going to leave it at the US. So this is a disk configuration. So it says use best effort default partitioning layout, manual partitioning, or pre-mounted configuration. I'll choose the first option. So I only have one hard drive in this computer. It's a 256 gigabytes SSD drive. I'm going to hit the tab key to select. Hit enter. So here I have to choose a file system. This is the BDRFS, the extension for XFS, and F2FS. I'm going to select extension 4. And it says here, would you like to create a separate partition for home? I'm going to leave it as default. Hit enter for yes. So this is disk encryption. I'll hit enter. Say if you want to type a password to encrypt the disk, you can do that here. I'm not going to encrypt the disk. So this is the bootloader. The default is system boot. There's grab. I'm going to choose Grab, hit enter. And this is the unified kernel images. I'll hit enter. So the default is low. I'm going to leave it as default. So this is swap and the default is true. I'm going to leave it as yes, which is the default. So this is the host name. So the default is Arch Linux and you can change that. I'm going to type Arch Desktop. So this is the root password. So it says here, enter root password, leave blank to disable root. I'm going to type a root password. If you want to disable root, you just leave it blank. But I'm going to type a password. I'll retype the password. So here is user account. And here's where you add a user. I'm going to type a username. I'll type John, hit enter. I'll type a password and retype the password. So it says, should John be a super user with pseudo privileges? So I'm going to leave it as yes. And you want to select confirm and exit. So this is profile, I'll hit enter, select type. So this is a list of pre-programmed default profiles, desktop, minimal, server, X, all. I'm going to leave it as desktop. This is a desktop computer. And here you have to select your desired desktop environment. I'm going to select KDE. Hit enter. 
So this is a graphics driver. Right now, the default is all open source. So it depends on what type of graphic card you have in your computer. Is it NVIDIA or Intel? So the computer that I'm using has a built-in Intel graphics card. I'm going to select Intel. So this is Greeter. So here you have to choose which Greeter to install. That's the login manager interface. I'm going to leave it as SDDN. Hit enter. I'll select audio and here you have to choose an audio server. I'm going to select Pipewire. This is kernels. I'll hit enter. So here you have to choose which kernels to use. So the default is Linux and you can select more than one kernel. I'm going to leave it as default. So there's additional packages and here you can type whatever packages you would like to install. Also, you can install packages after installation. So I'm going to type Firefox. I'll type Vim. So I'm going to leave it as these two, Firefox and Vim, to install. I'll hit enter. This is the network configuration. I'm going to select use network manager. This is the time zone. So I'm in New York time zone. So this is the automatic time sync. I'll select yes as default. This is optional repositories. And here there's two choices. I'm going to select the first option, multi-lib. And you have the option to save the configuration. So I'm going to select install. Okay, so it says here, would you like to chirurg into the newly created installation and perform post-installation configuration? So the default is yes. I'm going to hit enter. So in this command prompt, I'm going to type exit. So it says installation completed without any errors. You may now reboot. I'm going to type reboot. So this is the logon screen. This is the username. I'm going to type the password. So I'm going to change the display settings. So I change the display settings here. So Firefox was installed. So Vim was installed as part of the package. So in this video, I installed Arch Linux in a desktop computer. So I thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.